Welcome to this PowerPoint presentation on choosing A-level English language. In this era of fake news and contested truths, the study of language is probably more important now than it has ever been. This particular course is a linear course, therefore students carrying it on to A2 level will do two, two and a half hour exams at the end of A2, both of which are worth 40% each. The final 20% is made up of an independent language investigation. That investigation allows students the opportunity to explore uh, a particular area of language that they have an interest in and are passionate about. For example, previous students have analysed things as diverse as comedy scripts, song lyrics, political speeches, advertising brochures and leaflets with a view to understanding how and why language works, how it can be manipulated, and the power that lies behind the language. The overview of the course content uh, gives you a synoptic look at the different topics and language features that are explored in this course. So we'll be looking at things like phonetics, phonology, lexis and semantics, grammar, pragmatics and discourse. We also will be looking at language in a range of contexts. So for example, how the historical context, geographical and social context have shaped language over the years. And also looking at how language is closely tied in with our identity. A little bit more detail in terms of the course content. The A2 course is made up of two components, exploring language, in which you will look at uh, single and specific texts in detail on in language under the microscope. You'll also be asked to write about a topic of language issue. For example, it might be something to do with spelling or gender issues or political issues within the language. You'll also look at comparing and contrasting different texts. In component two, you will look at child language acquisition, how we as people acquire our language from a very early age right up through uh, our whole lives, how language is used in the media and how it can be manipulated uh, for different agendas and also how language has changed over the last five, six hundred years. Component three then is the independent language research module uh, that I spoke about earlier and this really gives students an opportunity to explore their passions in terms of a particular area of language research um, and this really with the guidance of the, the teachers involved should be a, a excellent opportunity to score very very highly uh, to help you out with the final two exams. Entry requirements into A level English well it's a very different course from GCSE English language it's much more interactive it's much more engaging um, much more is expected of you in terms of your own investigations and research, presentations, sharing things with the class in terms of findings, etc. Um, so we would primarily be looking for people who have an interest in language, uh, want to explore how language works and figure out and find out why language is important. We would sort of look to see that you have at least a grade B at GCSE. That's not to say that anything less would not be accept, acceptable. Uh, however, a grade B would be a good starting point for any student at A level. What are the benefits of studying English language A level? Well, uh, there are quite a number. You get to develop and enhance your research and presentation skills, and that is something you can use across other subjects, and is something that is a very desirable skill in terms of what employers are looking for. You will learn how to use language and manipulate language to suit different audiences and purposes. You will undertake independent research and investigation into an area of particular and individual interest, which will enhance your ability to work independently. You will also engage creatively with issues relevant to language and use and develop your interest in and enjoyment of English. In terms of going on to third level education, English language A level is regarded by the Russell Group of UK Universities, which is a prestigious group representing some of the top universities across these islands. Uh, they see it as a desirable subject, which underlines its status as a rigorous and respected academic area of study. In other words, 
at the university see English language A level on your resume uh, and you have a good grade on it, this would be uh, very welcome and very impressive. In terms of possible career pathways, I suppose the obvious ones would be things like journalism, advertising and media. However, the range of skills that you will learn through studying A level English language will also be very beneficial uh, in a wide range of areas, including law, research itself, teaching, web design, scriptwriter, drama, theatre work, etc. It's one of those subjects that will give you a very good footing uh, right across the board in a whole range of areas. Any further questions or queries, remember uh, you can speak to your individual uh, English teachers. Uh, however, myself, Mr. Morgan, Mr. McMahon and Ms. Kelly are currently the teachers involved in delivering the course, so probably best to, to speak with one of us. Good luck in whatever choices you make.